looking back now, uh, 2005, we uh, released Stabbing the Drama, and uh, that was a very special album for us. Um, it was a pretty big commercial success, and I guess it introduced more of the band's um, more straightforward sound. We worked a lot around grooves. Um, you know, the album was still pretty intense, for sure. Uh, it was super melodic and a lot of riffing, and um, I think it's it's been standing the test of time pretty pretty well. So it was definitely a, a, a big album for us. And then um, after the touring for that album, Peter uh, left uh, the first time, and um, there was member changes, and. Um, we started working on Sworn to a Great Divide, which was a pretty interesting album. Um, I recorded the vocals in, in Canada with Devin Townsend, and that was a really great experience for me. I think I learned a lot from it uh, and became a better singer, for sure. And the album, I think, showcased a little bit more of our progressive side, even though some of the songs were pretty straightforward, just like on Stabbing the Drama. And, um, but it had a little bit of a different atmosphere. Um, I think, it, of course, it was a challenge for us, you know, uh, when, when Peter left, and I think we needed to, to prove ourselves. And uh, I think there's a lot of good good songs on the album. Um, the production didn't turn out too, too good. Um, so there's been, you know, um, hopes of maybe remixing uh, the whole album, so we'll see if that happens in the future. But anyway, so we did that album, and then uh, Peter came back again, and we did Panic Broadcast, and I think that album became very much uh, a mix between um, our kind of straightforward songwriting uh, with very kind of chorus-based music, also mixed with some more um, um, elaborate tracks and, and, and songwriting. And, uh, there's a lot of interesting tracks on the album, and, and uh, one of our, you know, one of my personal faves, uh, Let This River Flow, and uh, it's it's grown to be such a great live track that everybody seemed to, to enjoy as well. After that, um, Peter left again, um, and um, we started um, working on something new, and I think we needed a, a bigger challenge uh, to really kind of rediscover ourselves as as songwriters and I think that's when we came up with the idea of, of doing a, a, a double album um, which seemed like a, a very big challenge but I think that's exactly what we needed so we started writing songs and and that's when you know um, David joined the fold as well and I think um, him and Sylvan really connected musically as well um, and uh, brought something really interesting to that album. I picked up the guitar uh, and wrote a bunch of songs as well, so it was definitely a challenge for me to build something from scratch. Um, so I think that was that was really good for me as well. Um, so pretty much everybody in the band contributed to, to this album. Uh, that became very special for us. And uh, we ended up with 27 tracks and uh, 20 made it on the album, and the other songs uh, turned out to be uh, released on, a, on an EP, I guess we spoke about before. So um, that kind of led us into to, uh, the songwriting for The Ride Majestic. We, we did a lot of touring for The Living Infinite, but not half as much as we should have done. So we figured, uh, let, let's try to write something new instead. I think we, we captured some of the darker parts of, of The Living Infinite, and I think we really managed to develop that. And I think that's where we are today. We, uh, um, we aim to surprise our, ourself, uh, ourselves and also our, our listeners, which I believe we are. And uh, it, it's definitely going to be interesting to see where this will go. Uh, in the future.